Hello everybody, Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome to a brand new challenge here on the challenge, the Whimsy Legacies Challenge. Now, the thing is that most legacies I would show from the very start, but I've been playing this one for a while now just on my own, but I love this one so much that I wanted to start sharing it with you guys. So from here on out, I am going to start recording it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just explain what this challenge is so far. So this is the Expanded Whimsy Legacy by Lycia Blur, and it's a variation of the original Whimsy Legacy Challenge by Caterade. The basis for this challenge is that every generation focuses on a different type of story with different goals. It could be a story of endurance, a story of love and loss, a story of solitude, a story of discovery, power over punishment, hubris, etc. But what makes the Expanded version different is that you don't necessarily need to meet every goal for the generation, but it will change how the next generation begins, how much money you start with, what traits the next generation receives, and so on. Now, the premise for the first generation is your story begins as most stories do, with endurance. You are homeless. You've gone out into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. As a child, you never had somewhere you could call home. You're bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a home to call your own. A sweet suburban life with a family of your own. Since childhood, you have longed for a life of normalcy. You are tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken. So, you search for joy in the mundane. Life is lonely at first, but you find love with another homeless sim. Though the two of you have little to nothing, it feels like absolutely everything with your partner by your side. You are a carefree, nature-loving, naive dreamer. Some may call you a hippie, but you just call yourself happy. From the ground up, you create. You make candles, fabricate your own furniture, and search dumpsters to make it by, day by day. Eventually, you have a home to call your own, built with your own two hands. A tiny home, but a home nonetheless. You've done it. Your dream is finally realized. You will stay in this comfy, small, shoebox-sized home for the rest of your life making a living by growing in your garden, raising your children, and selling the things you make at the local markets. It's a meager life, but it's everything you've ever wanted. Now, the goals for this generation are that the Sim needs to start with at least three tattoos, which we have. Uh, they rarely wear any makeup and dress as casually as possible at all times, which we do. We start on an empty lot in Willow Creek and had our money reduced to zero at the very beginning. Uh, we are self-employed with a freelance, simply crafted career, as you can see here. Um, we live in a suburban-style microhome for our entire life. Um, we have upgraded to a, a tiny home when we aged into adulthood. And our house is filled with plants, like everywhere you can see, just plants, plants everywhere. We have fostered a healthy garden on our lot. As you can see here, it's winter right now, so things kind of look a little bit more dead than they normally would. But that's just because it's winter, and we do have plants that we can harvest in the winter. Um, we found love while we were homeless with another homeless sim. Where is our husband? Kensuke is currently checking out our garden out here. Okay. Um, he has a part-time career, can't have a full-time career. He is customer support at retail. And all of our children are named after nature. We have our daughter, Rowan, who is playing... She's sitting in a puddle right now. That should probably get cleaned up. And our other daughter, Sakura. And we have also ma managed to master the fabrication, handiness, and wellness skills. And we have completed the Master Maker Aspiration, which can't- we, since we've mastered it, we've moved on to a different one. But anyways, uh, because we have finished everything, we are pretty close to actually finishing the first generation. Which actually ends when our main sim here, Cassidy, ages into an elder. And that's a little ways off. Um, we still have about 30 days to go in-game until Generation 1 is complete, so 
that should still be enough time to actually get some footage for a few, at least a few episodes in Generation 1. Um, Rowan here is actually almost a teenager. The thing is, the way that we decide the heir isn't exactly like random choice, but rather there are specific requirements. The way that the heir is decided is whichever of our children has the closest relationship with Sok with Cassidy. And as it is, I originally thought it was going to be Rowan. Rowan is like a really, she's a perfectionist at school. She is top of her class. She is, she is always like trying to do her best. But um, she actually has a lower relationship with Cassidy than her sister Sakura does. Sakura is a little bit more cool and laid back than Rowan is, but you know, she's she's doing her thing. She's pretty cool. But anyways, um, our main sim here, Cassidy, is so, so close to actually finishing up everything. She has actually finished all of her main goals and tasks, and um, we have actually gotten um, most of the requirements for getting the better ending for this particular generation. The Suburban Bliss ending says that we have to master all of the focused skills, complete the listed aspiration, manage to build a respectable home during young adulthood. Um, our garden has flourished throughout our life. Uh, we still have to work on that one. Uh, we leave behind um, at least 15,000 simoleons or more for our heir to take upon moving out. Which we'll have to wait until the next generation truly begins. Um, we've had multiple children. We have two. Um, have a positive relationship with all children at the time of succession. We have a pretty positive relationship, I would say, with both children. And our spouse is still alive at the time of succession. I don't know if we're actually going to reach that one. Because Kensuke, our husband, is an elder already. He... I didn't realize that he was already an adult when, when Cassidy had married him. He wasn't a young adult. And he only has so long left, as you can see. So we have only a little bit of time left. But um, anyways, Cassidy, she's had a very happy life. She's, she's, done, she's been so successful with all of her goals and everything. I do want to see her make amends with Rowan, honestly. What happened here? <laughs> Rowan is so close to becoming a teenager, too. I did have to disable, um... I had to disable mean and mischievous interactions, because I've had a glitch that makes Sims just autonomously do nothing but mean and mischievous, in mean and mischievous interactions when there's no real reason for them to do so. However, I am keeping track of Sims' whims for that, and she wants to instigate a Sim before... The main reason why her relationship with um, with Cassidy went d took a dive is because she specifically wanted to instigate Cassidy. But um, as it is, she's um, this is just any sim. She wants to instigate any sim. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be Cassidy. It could be. Oh, she likes comedy. Yes, Rowan, you can enjoy comedy. Go for it. And Cassidy is off to do some more yoga. She does this every morning. Her morning routine is that she starts off by doing some yoga. I'm gonna have you supercell a bunch of the stuff in the in the yard. I had to disable the mean interactions because it tends to be too much. I have re-enabled mischief because that's usually hit or miss. It doesn't automatically make relationships take a nose dive. <laughs> So, Sims might autonomously be mischievous for no reason, and it might get annoying, but, you know, we can handle it. Well, who are you calling? Talking to Lover, okay. I've noticed that my Sims tended to, like, really autonomously get, like, way too many love interests, both of the- both Cassidy and Kensuke. It- it got to be too much, so I disabled the free love neighborhood action plan. But you can see, like, there's some still some leftovers from when it was in play. It's... It's annoying. What's really annoying is the fact that, like, with Caleb, it happened, like, nearly instantaneously. He met Caleb for one second, and instantly their relationship went completely maxed out, both friendship and romance. I don't know. 
Yana Moon. Uh, why don't we have you come out here and do a freaking belittle anger. I know you want to instigate this soon. Let's go ahead and do that. I need to get some things done. It was nice seeing you. Well, hang on. We're gonna do a... Rude introduction. I know you're already enraged, but we're gonna be even meaner. Because she's in the mood to instigate somebody. Alright, we already have a festering grudge, but you know what? Let's go ahead. Where's instigate? Instigate! We're gonna instigate this sim. There we go. And now we're just having a regular, um, friendly conversation. But it's actually not working because they aren't getting along. That's actually really interesting, is the fact that as co conversations are more likely to fail when they're already not happy. Sakura is at mental level 4! Oh good, you're doing your homework! That's so good for you, Sakura! We still have quite a while before um, Cassidy winds up aging up. The garden I find is a very good way for us to actually make money for the next generation. Why, why don't you go ahead and just leave Yana alone? I can tell you guys are trying to make amends, but it's just failing. Go! You should probably just stop for now. Let each other cool off. It's not like you're trying to become friends is just not gonna work. <laughs> I like how you're just like, I have to go. It was nice seeing you. Call me later after you guys like literally hate each other. It's kind of hilarious. Sakura has completed her extra credit work for today. That's actually really good. Good job. Oh, Jade. We've been thinking about... Why are you asking a, ch a literal child if you need to try for a baby? You should decide for yourself. It's too hard. Well, someone ask a literal child. Seriously. What do you expect is going to happen? Oh, Sakura has entered the picky eater phase? Why were you, were you guys just crying for a second earlier? Okay, but she's a picky eater, so that means... Uh, what, what do you need to eat? I don't know. We'll have to see, we'll have to see what exactly she wants to eat. Oh! Uh, weird glitch time, okay. That was... Oh, there we go. Here comes some mischief. As long as they're not gonna start hating each other, it will be okay. Uh, no, we are not going to get the tech guru job. We have to stay unemployed in the simply crafted career instead. We need to be- we need to stay as a freelancer. We can't really do anything aside from that. You are feeling flirty, though, from feeling close with someone nearby. Uh-oh. These guys are starting to have their relationship go down a little bit. They're getting to be a little bit more mischievous. But at least they're both laughing it off. So that's fine, I think. I am speeding through stuff because stuff is getting to be a little much. I like how everything she does is just... Well, hang on, what just happened? What, why did your relationship with your husband go down? I totally missed whatever happened. Oh well. You know, I think he should actually retire from his job. He shouldn't... He shouldn't be, um... He, he's an elder with not much longer. I should have him retire. A daily payment will be ma made each day based on his current hourly pay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, We're making 98 oh. simoleons an hour. <laughs> After working for four hours every day. That's pretty good. You're thinking of trying for a baby. Why are you ask? You just asked the child. Now you're asking. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Try for that baby. But yeah, you want to be funny with Cassidy, so let's go ahead. Where's funny? Where is funny? There is funny. Go ahead and, um, make fun of adults, because you, you've been in kind of a mood lately. Ah, oh, you're relieved. Ah! Relationship went down. 
You know what? That's fine. It does seem like Sakura is actually more likely to become the next heir at this point. That's actually pretty interesting. Sakura is not the sim I expected would become the heir, but you know what? Good for her. The next heir is going to be focusing on becoming a school teacher is the thing. They're gonna, they're gonna be an elementary school teacher and wind up adopting a ton of kids. They can they adopt four children. Ooh, I actually just remembered something. One of the things I actually wanted to start doing with um, Sims in all of my games is every time I have a Sim become like a child or like get partway through their life, uh, I want to have them just ponder on the kind of person that they are. Just ponder sexuality and gender identity. There's a small percentage uh, that that it'll actually change anything. Just a small percentage, but over time, they might figure some stuff out. And it's... It's not just gonna be once during their life. I might have them do it like as a teenager and then upon becoming a young adult. And at that point, I'll be like, okay, I'll just kind of leave it be, maybe. Oh, she's got the questioning trait. So she is definitely like trying to figure herself out more so than uh, Rowan is. Rowan's thinking about it, but uh, she's not really questioning anything right now. But Sakura is in fact questioning some stuff. That's actually... This is my first time actually seeing how this works. Oh, picky eater. Uh, it's good to be a picky eater. Keep all those nasty culinary concoctions away from the sim. They will prefer to eat their favorite quick meal. Ah, I see. Oh, you're off to go and do some yoga. Okay. And you're trying to do yoga too, but she beat you to it. You really do kind of like to instigate your mom, don't you? That's what I can tell. Okay, I guess that uh, looks like Rowan is done, so you're off to go and do yoga. Where's, where is Rowan? Oh! Oh, are you like... You're reading under the covers. That is actually super cool. Oh, great. This thing is dirty. Why don't you go ahead, um, refill the H2O siphoner and polish that. Clean it up. Come on. Oh, we've got, uh, some... We've got some elote that's been made up. Let's go ahead and just put that in the fridge. Oh, you're good at mediumship for some reason and very good at mischief. I was not expecting that. There is a future generation that's supposed to be focusing on being a medium. That's going to be pretty cool to do in the future. I know that they look like twins, but they really aren't. They they just happen to look similar because they both took after a lot of Cassidy's traits. Why do Sims always try and use my grill? They always use my grill to start making these distressing concoct decoctions and I can't get rid of them. Ever. And our relationship with Rowan is back to being maxed out. There's still a good chance that Rowan could still become the heir. It just depends on if we can keep this relationship with Rowan maxed. But we'll have to see. Alright, so she's gone. He just showed up, made one of these de-stressing decoction things. At the very least, these two still do get along. That is something I was concerned about. When they were toddlers, they used to hug all the time. Do you think I can accomplish anything I want, says K Kensuke. Of course I do. Yeah, she very much believes in him. She's she's a super supportive sim. She's also pessimistic. I do have a mod that adds a lot of extra traits. Um, I have a mod that um, gives sims five starting traits instead of just three. And I have some mods that add like extra traits as time goes on that like help them to um, just become like better at certain things or not. Um, as she, like as she's gotten older, she has become infertile. That is something that I actually set myself. I actually rolled a dive to see if that would happen, and yeah, she is infertile now. So uh, Rowan and Sakura are her two youngest. Are her two only kids. She's not gonna have any more. Rowan was given advice to look for the positive side of moving to a new school. I mean, you guys have been just staying in the same school for ages, but you know what? That's still good. At the very least, tomorrow we can still celebrate her birthday pretty well. 
We haven't really done anything, like, huge. We don't have any, like, huge parties. We don't have any huge gatherings. But it'd be nice to be able to, like, meet some of her friends. Just have her... You hate being the new kid. You're anxious for new school? Oh, you're gonna go into high school, I think, is what's going on. I think that's probably what it is. Because you're almost a high... You're almost a teenager. You're almost gonna be going into high school. Alright, Cassidy is awake. Bright and early, as usual. And off to go and get some elote. Elote? I don't know if there's... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. And it is now too cold for us to actually do yoga outside, but she's probably gonna try and do it anyway and start freezing to death because I've had to stop her many times in the past. That is the trouble with this house, is that there's not enough room to have everything indoors, so they keep trying to, like, go outdoors to do stuff, but they're gonna freeze to death if they do so. So... Yeah. Why not go jogging? That should keep you warm. Yeah, look, you're wearing your pajamas outside. Don't do that. Gonna keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't literally freeze to death. Oh, look. Vampire just passed by us. Are you calling somebody again? Stop, stop that. I really should just cancel. Mele Kahalanui, okay. Yeah, you might as well start flirting with literally every single sim. I know he just hates all of the decor in this house. So I'm sorry, but for us to have like a house filled with greenery and stuff, we kind of have to get over that. Oh, look, you can see the snow is just falling everywhere. That is really cool. Oh, it's rebate day. Oh, a balanced meal. Someone said that eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Um, eating dirt is really unhealthy, or if you do, kids may tease you. They both affect manners. Uh, let's go ahead and say, if you do, kids may tease you, because they would. Empathy decreases for Sakura, but okay. Oh, you're getting some as well, okay. Do you actually like it, or being a picky eater? Oh, you think it's gross, Oh, Poor Sakura. You weren't forced to eat it, you picked it up yourself. I'm a little concerned about this snow, but you know what? It, snow happens. Oh, I think the kids are off to school. There they go, wearing their casual everyday wear instead of any cold weather gear. But off they go. Oh look, Yana Moon is still a very grumpy child, as per usual. Oh, what's up, Chuck? Rowan got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She's with a nurse now. Um, do a thorough health check. Our emotional responsibility has increased and emotional control has decreased. Oh, we've gained- we've unlocked the energetic lifestyle! That's great! You have a dream about death? Of someone close to you? Oh, that's sad. Airplane origami. Sakura has mastered the art of the paper airplane and can't wait to try her original supersonic design. She's already finished her worksheet and the substitute isn't looking. Maybe now is a good time? Uh, let's wait for recess. Sakura hides the plane in her backpack until recess. By the time she gets to the playground, the, no the nose is bent and the thing won't fly straight. Back to the drawing board. Aww. Okay, and you need- you need to- you need to warm up. Stop doing yoga. Get inside the house. Yes, you're freezing to death. Get inside, please. We literally have a thermostat so heating up the house. You should not be outside. Get in. Get inside the house. Get inside. There we go. Drink that water. There we go. And you know what else I should have you do? I'm gonna have you make a cake for your daughter's birthday. Uh, let's go ahead and add some birthday candles. Add the candles. Oh, mail has been delivered. It's bills. Let's go ahead, pay the bills, and get any other mail. Oh my gosh, you're gonna freeze to death again. Cassidy, why? Oh. I just realized this thing is spilling everywhere. You've got the best handiness out of everybody in this household, so go ahead and do that. There we go. It says celebrate Rowan's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. We're not gonna throw like a high key party at all, but... 
Hang on, what was that? Somebody's phone was ringing. Should Sakura invite over classmate Srikumar? You know what? Sure, we can make this kind of our party and should Rowan invite over classmate Elwanda? Yeah, let's do that! This could be our party! Top students! Excellent! You know what? That's great! Uh, why don't you, before you before you have your party, go, go quickly take a shower. Take a speedy shower. And this is Elwanda Holland. I haven't met Elwanda before, and I believe this is- is this Sri Kumar? Yeah, Sri Kumar Watson. A loved one that ne departs from this earth never truly leaves, for they are still alive in their hearts. Uh, they st- What? Did somebody die? My condolences. Did somebody die? But did somebody die? I don't see... Ulrich! Oh! I didn't realize that she was dead. Is that because of the accidents thing that can happen? I should probably put everybody... I should probably put everyone into a group. We're gonna have a little mini party. Everybody in. Come on, come on. Okay. Now Rowan, come over here and blow out the candles. It's your birthday. Let's do this. Oh, she she's literally just vanished, and she's aged up. Okay. Um, next generation traits are unflirty and family oriented. I, I just might not be able to add certain traits at a certain point. You know what? For now, I'm gonna put her down as being open-minded, and um, her aspiration for now. Um, she can't really have any of, like, the- she can't really have the trait for, um, being a super parent because she is- can she? Well, she could technically. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put down successful lineage for now. Where are you? Oh, she's over here. So... So not the drama. Rowan sees be beyond the petty quarrels of those around her and should be well equipped to deal with the difficult sims when she is older. A true mediator. I'm gonna go ahead and modify her and Cass. Cause clearly she's got some stuff to be done. She shouldn't be that wrinkled as a teen. Alright. So I've gone through and changed up Rowan's outfits. Given her a little bit of a different look for each different outfit category. And she looks so pretty, honestly. Uh, the reason that she looked so wrinkled was apparently because she inherited Kensuke's facial overlay. I've removed it, so now she has uh, the one that I used as a default, which is called the Calypso overlay. But, um, anyways, oh my gosh, she is so pretty. If she becomes- if she- if she winds up being the heir, I would be so happy, regardless. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this first look into the Whimsy family legacy. And, um, hopefully I can have more in the future, and I will see you guys in the future. So, stay safe out there, everybody.